since I'm going to be absent Thursday afternoon and Friday, um, I've put together oops, a little activity um, set that you'll be completing for the next two days. Um, you can think of this as a menu. When you think finish one activity, you will move on to the next activity and so on. So activity number one is going to be your vocabulary test. Please take your time on this. Use the word parts. Think about the example words that we use for each of the word parts to help you. Um, you'll have a paragraph to read a passage that's in a page protector. Um, make sure you turn that back in when you turn your test back in. After you've turned your test in, the next activity you're, activity you're going to work on is your essay about the giver. You're going to choose one issue from the giver and write an essay explaining why it's not a utopia. Um, this is going to be your claim. You're going to find three details from the story, three events. You can use quotes of the story if you'd like. Just make sure you put parenthetical in to show what page they came from. And then you're going to explain how that example, how that supports um, back to your claim. If you choose, you can turn this in for an optional writing grade. Um, everybody's going to be getting a completion grade on this, but if you would like me to use this as a substitution for your Renaissance essay, we didn't really have enough time to do another revision on that just because I've been a out a lot this week, um, but I will let you think about all the things that we talked about yesterday in class or on Wednesday about what a good attention getter looks like, how to vary your transitions, um, specific mistakes I'm seeing as far as editing and revising. And if you want me to grade this and use this essay grade in place of your Renaissance essay um, with the hopes that you're going to do a much better job on it, um, I will do that, but you have to show me some of your effort. So after you have handwritten in pencil your essay with a second color, you may use a colored pen, um, a colored pencil, a different writing utensil um, to show me how you revised and edited. So I would expect to see some changes in word choice. Just neatly cross out what you had and put a carrot in there and substitute in maybe a different transition. Um, just I expect to see some type of revision or editing if I'm going to take the time to regrade this essay um, with the same detail. So. After you finish this, and I would expect that this would take you most of Thursday, possibly into Friday for some of you, if you want me to um, regrade it, um, you're going to staple your paper to the rubric and then turn it in. When you turn that in, you're going to go back to the file that has activity number three, and that's going to be the giver word sort. And it looks like this. We did this together on the board last week on Friday using all the problems in society. We support s sorted the words by uh, part of speech um, and then we resorted them into specific groups and categories. I've given three to you here, but if you need more, you can go on to the back. The only criteria is you may not have a group titled other or miscellaneous just because you couldn't think of a category. So, you're going to make a list of important words in Jonas's world. Think about words maybe that popped up in the story a lot, words that the society used to revolve their rules, their rules around, um, nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. And it looks like you're going to need close to 20 for all of them. Now, if you decide we had talked about how to change a noun to an adjective, you may not use the same form of the word in two different boxes. So, for example, if you put um, beautiful as an adjective, you cannot then substitute it as beauty as a noun. So you have to pick one or the other for that form of the word. You may use your book. So look through your book. Look through um, some important words. It might be titles, um, might be rules. The only thing you may not use are names. But you could use job titles in place of those names. Um, but again, I don't want just a list of all the different jobs in the society. I expect this to show a reflection of um, your understanding of how the, the society is run. So after you have your 20 words for each of these, you're going to come back down here and sort them into different categories. And we did some of this last week. Okay, so think back to how we did that. If you have one or two 
blank at the bottom, that's okay, but I do expect to see most of this filled in neatly and completely. Okay, so once you have that done, you're going to turn that in, making sure your name is on it, and then move on to the last activity. And this is your choice activity. You may pick which one activity you want to do. So here's the rubric that I'm going to use to grade that. It is going to be part of a writing project grade. So you may choose from one of these options. The first one is a poem, an I am poem. You'll get a copy of the poem template um, and I have an example back there from a different poem. Each line must have a minimum of 10 words and you may not repeat different events or details in the different lines. After you have done your final copy, I would expect to see some kind of pictures or descriptions or illustrations that kind of uh, complement your poem as it relates to, um, to the giver. If you don't want to do that, maybe you like to draw. I have a couple of different options. You can do a comic strip. So you would be picking important events from the story, thinking about characters and setting, plot, uh, conflicts that rose through the, the story, the climax, and the resolution. And you can draw, color, make dialogue boxes to show what the characters are saying in each scene. So you would look for some nine important scenes within the story that would help somebody understand what happened in the book. Um, you're going to complete a rough draft in pencil, retelling the plot of the story, and then on the back I have another template um, that you can do your final copy in. So don't spend too much time on your rough draft, it's just kind of to help you sketch out your ideas. I want you to use pencil so that your um, nothing bleeds through when you go to do your final copy. Option three is to do a before and after drawing. Pick a really important scene from the story that shows um, what the world looked like to Jonas before he started getting all the memories and then you're going to redraw that scene after thinking about what new information does he have when he looks around his community what are some of the new things that he could see um, focusing in on the color think about some important symbols that were present in the story as well after that you're going to summarize the story the main conflict in 30 words and I gave you 30 boxes so you don't have to count them after that, you're going to condense your summary down to 20 words. So you're going to have to think about how can you take out some of the less important words um, and really still get give a, a good summary of what happened in that story in 20 words. And then the last thing you're going to do is write out the theme. Or a theme, I should say. And then the last one is to do just a simple plot diagram and I have a couple of different templates that you can use. You can fill it in yourself, um, thinking of the different parts of a plot diagram, exposition, the rising action, the climax, the falling action, and the resolution. Oops, and I have another one. There will be two or three different uh, templates back there. You can pick the one that you like the best. Okay. And then this is the rubric that I'll be using to grade it, looking for a heading with your name, the title of the book punctuated correctly in the author, whether it's written or in descrip description with pictures, you need to provide lots of details showing that you understood the plot and theme of the story. Everybody's project, final project, should have some color and illustrations that are appropriate to the events of your storyline. Um, show some evidence of editing. I don't want to see names not capitalized. If you need periods, make sure you're using them. Think about how to spell words and use words correctly. You have the book and dictionaries at your disposal, so take your time. And then the last thing shows thoughtful reflection, effort, and neatness. You have all of Thursday and Friday to get through these activities. So um, if you need to for homework, this one will, be, um, will become a homework assignment for Friday if you don't get it done. Please keep in mind that this is for a writing project grade, so it's going to count for 40% of your grade. We really do not have very many grades left for the quarter, so you really need to take your time. Okay, so good luck, and I will miss you all.